Alright, so for the uninformed, a bad teammate is a person who makes plays or decisions that negatively impacts their team's objective, which is usually to win. Now, if you want the definition from our multicolored app called Google, because you might think that my definition is somewhat dumb, then here it is. <coughs> Four team members show little or no interest in the activities of the team and rely on others to make decisions and carry out the work. Also, apathetic team members, blah blah blah, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Sounds like noobs to me. Now, in the ripoff of Rocket League, which is Turbo League, normally you can identify bad teammates if they bump you on a regular basis, ball chase with no objective behind it, save your goals intentionally, go for solo plays, which 90% of the time doesn't work out, tackle you when you have the ball, and these are just the common traits of bad teammates, which means the list goes on. Now before we jump in, in case you guys don't understand what good or bad the player did in any of these videos, I will show you a list and try to explain why that positively or negatively affected the game. Anyway, enough chit chatting, let's jump right in. So the game starts and I spawned in a bit late and right off the bat, Vamp bumps me. But, 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 this can be overlooked since he was playing solo first and all he wanted to do is keep up the pressure so that when I joined, I didn't have a panic attack fearing that the ball would be in my net. With that being said, he was right, I was wrong. What I should have done is be more patient. Now Vamp is aiming to get the ball out of our half, so it goes for a power shot straight towards the backboard. I see this and decided that it's my turn to go up, and since I couldn't take the shot, I passed the ball straight to Vamp, who well in return he went for an air dribble straight down to the net and scored. Nah, just kidding, this guy went for a long air dribble. Look, look, look. I understand that it's his playstyle, but simply turning and going straight for the goal would have been more effective. Why? Simply because he's using Wrath, which is a pay to win card, so it's super fast. And Biggs here was pushing up, so there's a 60% chance that he would have caught him off guard. Anyway, so far so good. Let's move. On. Roughly two minutes in, I received a splendid pass from Vamp. However, I was way off target, so I tried to kill the ball in front of the net, which was close but far. Same mistake here, instead of going for a long range dribble, going straight towards the net would have been way more effective because by this time Bix is just finished rotating and he probably could have get a dunk on him which could result in a, in a goal or them panicking. Now as evidence that this playstyle is wrong, he lost control right here and anyone with brain cells would know would think since Vamp is pushing up, I should go for a bump to give him away. Which I bump Biggs two times. That's right, two times. The first one being super effective. The second one, well, I'm not sure. And what? Well, Vamp is just up there doing his own thing, I guess. Now this one right here is no one's fault, however my rotation was too wide and Vam's challenge had little height which resulted in him getting dunked, apart from that nothing wrong really happened. Splendid play by Vamp here, he faked the irritable, baited both opponents and then boom, just like that, a goal. 
Is it just me though or I did this actually miss? Only God knows cause this game has no sense. Now with the game being tied and approaching extra time, the chances of both team winning is split 50-50. So once me and Van focused up we could probably possibly win. Yeah. Long story short, we lost. Now I know what you guys are saying. Vic, there are players out there that are worse than Vamp. So why use Vamp as an example? Well, here's the thing. Using a player that's worse than Vampire would be way too obvious to see what he's doing wrong. And I feel like people don't know the small mistakes that players like Vamp and others make that are, they're doing it wrong. So by using Vamp as an example, those small mistakes that people don't know about, hopefully will be known and fixed. Alright, so for the good teammate, we have Bono. So far, so good. Except for me floating in the air for no reason at all. So here we can see patience in good positioning. But my boy got his ankles broken, bro. Someone call the ambulance, please. He's, he needs it, bro. He needs it. Anyway, there's plenty of time to come back from a one goal lead. So let's keep at it. That could have been spicy. LOL, both players double committed and whiff, which made me score. But don't look at that. Pay attention to what Bono here did after pushing the ball forward. He went back to rotate. Why am I asking? Because if he kept going, there's a strong possibility that he could have gotten it done and bumped in the process and since we're trying to keep the pressure on them without over committing the best thing to do is rotate wait on their touch and then pull off that you're now coming in clutch and this is all because he is playing aggressive but at the same time, he's rotating, making sure he's in the perfect position to react to anything. Good goal here, well done. But let's talk about me for a second. So what some players would do is keep going. So why did I rotate? Simple. I realized Bono coming in, but most importantly, I was awkward. And if I kept going, my only option was to go for an air dribble, which would be shut down anyway. We won't talk about that. No, no, we won't. Chains that last and to believe in what you got, it was built to last. Yeah. 
Now that right there was 70% perfect terribly. Why 70%? That's because our opponent chemistry wasn't that good. Their chemistry was like out of 10, a 7. But any mistakes there would have resulted into a goal. I mean just look how close they went when I accidentally popped the ball over my teammate. By the way, I was trying to pass, okay? I was actually trying to pass. I wasn't ball chasing. I was trying to pass. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, what do I say? Do I say a bye? Do I say peace? Do I say bye bye? You know what? Stay free with freestyles. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.